Hi, I'm Ian Hamilton from Alkaway. I've been drinking alkaline ionized water for 10 years and I love it. But I'm going to show you something totally amazing today. Just take a look at this. I've got tap water here. And what I'm going to do with that tap water right now is test its pH and its ORP or its oxidation potential. Can you see there that the pH of this tap water is 7.4? That's all, it's actually 7.3. That's all we need to know, maybe even 7.2, almost neutral. I'm now going to test the oxidation reduction potential of the water. This is its potential to rust or to donate energy to you. And as you can see, it has a positive millivoltage of 290, nearly 300, which means it's rusty water. If you put it on a piece of metal, it'll rust. If you drink it, it will rust you. This is the sort of water that you're getting out of your tap. All right. Now what we're going to do with that tap water is to pour it into this little gizmo. This little gizmo is called the Alcapod and it's the biggest advance in ionized water that I've seen in 10 years. We've seen lots and lots of gadgets arrive and, and pretend that they do the job, but this one really does the job in alkalizing and ionizing water. Now what it is, is a very simple little, little unit it has a little filter in there with magnesium in it and inside it has special metals which help it to energize the water. So it alkalizes, it ionizes and it energizes. Now, it takes about five minutes for it to work. So you can fill it up just before you're going out. You can take it out and you've got it, this beautiful water. You can't get it in your oven. Now, let's talk about alkaline ionized water in case you don't know. I said I've been on it for 10 years and I was very lucky that I found it that time ago. Today in Japan, one in five households have a water alkalizer. The water alkalizer is an electronic device that first filters the water, then passes it through a chamber which exerts an electric current on it and splits the water into acid and alkaline. When it splits into alkaline, that water comes out of spout, the acid comes out of another spout, the alkaline water we drink, the acid water we use on our skin and as an antibacterial agent in, in the kitchen. It's wonderful stuff. Over the 10 years that I've had them, I've given thousands of people the chance to use it. Thousands of Australians now have them in their home and we have literally thousands of stories from those people on, on how it's changed their life at a very fundamental level. So the alkaline ionized water machine is not new. What's new however is a non-electric simple device just like a little thermos flask that you can put water into and it does a similar job. Okay, it doesn't filter the water. And if you've got an ordinary old water filter, you can use your ordinary old water filter and fill this up. Uh, it only takes a certain amount. But just think about it. You want to go somewhere, you want to go for a walk. I go for a walk around Cape Byron every morning. I can take this and I can drink it on the way. If you don't have the money to invest in a, an, an alkaline water ionizer, you can start with this and start to get the benefits. It's an incredible thing. Now the alkaline water ionizer sits on your bench connected to your tap. This one can sit in your backpack connected to nothing. So if you've got an alkaline water ionizer I'd strongly suggest getting one of these because you and I know when we go away from our water alkalizer we really miss it. Steve Snow of Finn's restaurant recently took one of these to Portugal and absolutely raved about the fact that wherever he was, he could have his alkaline ionized water. Now the reason I'm talking so much is it does take about five minutes and a little shake doesn't hurt because it's shaking the water up with the uh, exotic minerals that are in there and the magnesium and it's increasing the pH and the negative charge of what we call the AWP. It's making the water a more donating, more hydrogen filled water. Okay. What are we down to? We've got two minutes to go. <laughs> we don't really have to go for five minutes, but if I give it five minutes, it will work much better. You'll be much more impressed and you'll be on the phone or on the internet ordering lots, lots more. So I'm going to wait another couple of minutes. It might seem a long, a long time. Um, my story with alkaline water is an interesting one because a friend brought uh, a water alkalizer to me 10 years ago. I was very skeptical, but Cassie, my wife, loved the whole idea. She seemed to know exactly that it was okay. So we started drinking it. The amazing thing about me was 
I used to have terrible trouble getting out of bed in the morning. My knees would swell up awfully uh, and they really, really hurt. I know what it was. It was my old days of skiing and I'd really ruined my knees. And I found within six weeks of taking on the water, I was getting out of bed without a pain. Amazing. And I've now heard so many stories from so many people. And if you doubt me, just go onto the internet, look up alkaline water or ionized water stories, and you'll see for yourself there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of stories on the net that you can read to prove to yourself that this isn't just some sort of gimmick. We're now getting reports coming in on a weekly basis of scientific studies done on alkaline water and it's looking at all sorts of serious disease situations where alkaline water has been uh, effective in the laboratory. It's not out there yet. Uh, the reason there's not enough research yet is that there's no money in it. People can buy one of these, the doctors make no money, the pharmacy makes no money, the government makes no money, but this little uh, gizmo, little device like that, or your own water alkalizer, does the job for you. Alright, we're down to 28 seconds. I'm going to stop it because I think that's enough. I'm going to open it up and I'll do the test that we started with. Remember, it was just tap water. Okay, and it was about 6.3, 6.4. I'm now checking it. Look at that. It's going up fast. 8.4, 8.9, 9.2, 9.3. It's risen 2 percentage points, 9.5. That's incredible. Do you know what that means? That means it's now 100 times more alkaline than the water that went in. 9.6 more because each point in the alkaline scale is a logarithmic scale. 9.5. Let's try the oxidation reduction potential and see what that has to say. Here we go. It's dropping like a stone. Down to 100, down to 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40. Now remember what it was with the tap water was about plus 300. That's very acidic water. It's going down to zero and it's still going fast. Okay, down and there it goes into the negative. Now it will continue, I'm not going to keep you waiting around for it, but it will continue going down, it's down to nearly 20 now, it'll go down to about minus 100. That's a difference of around about 400 millivolts. Now this is the sort of thing that a water alkalizer will do for you. So we're getting performance out of this that we would get from a water alkalizer. It's absolutely amazing. The little filter inside, I'll just show you. There it is. It's not, it doesn't really, it's not really a filter. It's just got magnesium in it. All of the minerals, etc., are in the bottom. Excuse me. Oh. You know, it's like drinking silk. It's beautiful. It's like the best water alkalizer water. Yes, I know it's not filtered, and and obviously you do need to filter water, but. What a great little device.